think there's a greater uh, level of uh, understanding where all parties concerned that uh, we have a common interest to make Pakatan Rakyat work and succeed. Uh, that we can, uh, together, we can bring about great changes in the country which is unthinkable in the past. And I think we want to not to allow this opportunity to be missed. I think what we've agreed as far as the, the Pakatan and the DAP pass and PKR is uh, what we've agreed in, into our policy document and how it is to be uh, interpreted, how it is to be spelled out. And inevitably, there will be some differences of uh, interpretation and approach at various levels. And these are things that had to be worked out. The important thing is uh, the we are committed in uh, in, in Pakatan Rakyat on our common policy programs, and uh, that should be the basis for the Pakatan Rakyat. In individual parties, we may have differences of uh, uh, on certain questions. But uh, in the larger interest of Pakatan Rakyat, I think we have to uh, ensure that, they, that this does not become an obstacle to Pakatan Rakyat moving forward or being exploited. I think there's no doubt that in the next elections, the objective will be to, to go for Putrajaya. Mm -hmm. Although whether we can uh, really achieve it, is a, a different uh, people have different uh, uh, answers. But uh, well, I would say that for the first time, even that, as far well as going for federal power, is something that is uh, not completely impossible. It is uh, achievable. It's a question is, uh, you know, well, you only know when the ballot boxes are open and the ballots are counted. But it's something that is achievable. It's not just a question of denying two thirds. We have already denied two thirds, and I think uh, it's be to be more than that. Uh, can we achieve it? I really don't know. But uh, it would appear with passing uh, a passage of time that uh, it looks more and more optimistic. Whether it's enough for us to make it is a separate question. But uh, more and more optimistic, for example, uh, 709, the policy 2, these are all, uh, whether there are a lot of self-inflicted uh, 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 injuries of uh, Naji and Basa National. But uh, uh, it will appear that the we have a, a Prime Minister and a uh, incumbent government that is uh, unable to see and uh, empathize with the changes that the people want and become uh, more and more alienated, taking uh, actions and steps which uh, make them more and more uh, cut off from the ground. It may seem to be a very important battleground, well, they are regarded as the fixed deposit states mm -hmm. and they will be the, the two important states to determine whether Putrajaya falls or not. So I think that's why you're putting uh, so much effort into the, the two SS, the two states. One of the slogans we are trying to use is uh, save Sabah, Sarawak to save Malaysia. SSSSM. <laughs> <laughs> save Sabah, Sarawak, save Malaysia. Save Sabah and Sarawak, save Malaysia. Because well, the, the point that we make to Sabah and Sarawak is even if you change uh, on your own, like in Sabah in particular, talking about state government, you, know, the, you, you, you cannot uh, uh, save themselves. The problem of illegal immigrants remain. The, you need a federal uh, Putrajaya intervention. So if uh, the people of Sabah, for instance, want to save uh, Sabah, they must save Malaysia, change Malaysia in order to change Sabah. So for the first time uh, in Sabah, it's a question not o only of Sabah politics. You know, the, the, uh, the Sabahans, uh, 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 sending up to shape their own destiny, but they must be able to also uh, shape uh, Malaysia's destiny because they just, uh, even if there's a change of government in Sabah, uh, they are also uh, uh, impotent, helpless. So, if, but to really to change the course of events in Sabah, they have to change the, put, uh, the power in uh, so Putrajaya. So, Save Sabah, Sarawak to save Malaysia. The DAP has announced that Johor is a frontline state. Right. You know, you remember in the past we talked about Penang as a frontline state. You know, and, uh, right. and now it's Johor, and, and uh, which is one of the most difficult states, and actually. It's a. Uh, no, it has all along been regarded as the, uh, the, the, the fortress, not only for AMNO, but also for MCA. And uh, well, the, the, you have a different history of Johor as from the northern uh, states. and. Uh, Amno has always been very strong, considered as uh, virtually untouchable, in fact. 
but I think uh, the 308 uh, events have shown that uh, Johor is not that invisible and I think there is a, 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 a it can feel the, ch the type of change taking place also in Johor how how far and how far and uh, that is a question but I think uh, it gives hope that uh, there can be uh, great uh, possibilities in Johor and of course if we can bring about uh, great changes in Johor that's the end of uh, we end in Pujerut Jaya undoubtedly we're not talking about winning uh, Johor State Power but if we can get a sizable uh, swing uh, and together with Sabah and Sarawak I think uh, uh, the possibility is there the new scenario that has developed I think uh, is also the time for the DAP to uh, reach out to all uh, races and regions which has always been our uh, founding uh, vision that we are a party for the for all races and not confined to any community and uh, I think uh, that it would be also be good for Pakatan as a whole that the DAP able to become a more multiracial party uh, with the strength not just confined to the urban areas, to the non Malays, that uh, we are able to reach out to the Malays, to the Katasans, to the Ibans. But it is, I think, that has to be threshed out. Uh, at present, uh, it's too early at the national level to to, to, to talk about it. It's still uh, must be dealt with at the state level. And I think uh, that is uh, under underestimating, I think, uh, the Malaysians' uh, yearning for change. And I think. Uh, uh, as uh, the Brazil 2 rally has shown, uh, uh, come and surprise, I think, all around, that there uh, is an opportunity for all Malaysians, regardless of race, uh, religion, class, region, gender, and uh, age, came together. And uh, s when they sang Nengaraku, uh, it was for the first time with a real meaning. And everybody felt proud, uh, you know, and uh, very moved. It's very different from uh, when the Prime Minister and the Cabinet Ministers goes around distribute the national flag, for instance. You, know, you will you evoke no feeling whatsoever. You know? So I think this is something which maybe uh, we should not underestimate the, the Malaysians. Umar himself has, has said that 709 has signaled that Pakatan is going to win the next general elections. Do you share that same opinion? I would say that 709 uh, gives a greater hope that uh, the Putrajaya is uh, within reach. But, but I, won't, I won't make that definitive statement that we are there. <laughs>